Okay, Art, uh, we are going to do a pressure test on the steam system for you to show you how that works. The first thing you'll want to do is locate the steam inlet and outlet. Typically, they're on the left side of the tank, and for testing purposes, it doesn't matter which one's the inlet and which one's the outlet. Normally, these are like one inch British standard pipe thread, or sometimes you'll see inch and a quarter, inch and a half, but one inch or three quarter inch is pretty typical. And with one inch and three quarter inch British pipe thread, you don't really need to worry about uh, interfacing with NPT, just use plenty of threads, thread tape sealant and you'll be fine. So Jeff's going to demonstrate now. First thing you want to do is cap one end and just make sure it's tight. Use some, use some thread tape, hit it with the hammer, make sure it's good and tight. And on the other end, you're going to take uh, the uh, same thread sealant just to make sure that you've got a, you know, that you're not losing any pressure. Um, at, at the threaded connections. If you have pressure loss, you want to you want to know that that's coming directly from your steam pans and not from your test fittings or your or your connection. While he's doing that, I'll show you our test fitting. So what we use is a very simple uh, in apparatus that you could make yourself, or we could fabricate one and ship it to you. But essentially, it's got. Uh, a, uh, a way to connect to the steam inlet and outlet and then a ball valve so that once you pressurize it you can you can close it off and isolate the pressure on the gauge to know if you've got uh, uh, a leak or not. You got a pipe wrench with you? Yep. So Jeff's gonna Get that really good and tight. That should do it right there. And now we're going to pressurize the line. Just your regular shop air hose will do it. You're going to open the valve. And what do you want to do? 30 pounds, 20 pounds? It is 20, is what I know it is. 20 pounds, so 20 psi. So he's got the whole system pressure up to 20 psi. Close the valve, and then just watch the gauge and let it sit for a couple minutes. Now yeah. All they to look at. So let it sit for you know two to five minutes. Make sure there's no loss in gauge pressure. If there's not, then your system is tight. And you can circulate steam through it. And that's all there is to it, guys. <laughs>